It is a how-to day here at K2, and tonight we're showing you how to save a wet cell phone. I've actually washed my husband's cell phone before. Is, he, is this is this not your husband's? No, Dave, right? it's Dave's. No, give it back to him at some point, because you must act quickly when you have a wet cell phone. These are things you need to know before it happens. K2 problem solver Shelley Bailey Shaw explains there's really no time to go search online for directions. Feeling sunk? Well, believe it or not, you may be able to rescue that cell phone. Step one, do not turn on the phone. If you do, it could short the circuits. Instead, immediately remove the battery. Make sure you know how. And if it has a SIM card, remove that too. Step two, dry it out without shaking it. If you do, water could actually get further into the phone. Start by patting it dry with a towel. Then use a can of compressed air or an air compressor set to a low PSI. Don't have those? Use a vacuum cleaner to suck the water out. Be careful, though, not to hold it too close. That'll create static electricity. This drying could take up to 20 minutes. Common mistakes in drying out a wet cell phone? Letting it dry out naturally. If you do, the phone's innards will likely corrode, and sunlight can melt adhesives. Using a blow dryer, that'll actually push more air in. And don't put it in a microwave. Believe it or not, some folks have tried. Step three, soak up the remaining moisture by putting the phone, battery, and SIM card into a bowl of uncooked rice overnight. Don't worry about the rice dust. If it's still wet when you take it out, go ahead and put it back into the bowl for another four hours. Step four, let the phone sit on absorbent towels. After 24 hours, reattach the battery and, moment of truth, turn it on. If the phone still doesn't work, try plugging it into its charger. You may just need a new battery. For Problem Solvers, I'm Shelley Bailey Shaw, K2 News. And if all that has failed, we can tell you your phone still isn't working, Dave. Shelley <laughs> says you can try taking it to the dealer, but forget about pulling a fast one on the phone company. Most of today's phones have a water sticker that permanently changes color if it gets wet, making your warranty null and void.